back. Our fun at the National Aviary continues this morning. We already told you what's new at the Butterfly Garden, and now we have details on a great new art feature. Selena Pompieni is live with details at the National Aviary. Welcome back, Selena. Hey, Heather, thank you so much. Yeah, you saw how awesome that butterfly garden was. What a unique experience. But now we're going to talk about the tropical rainforest. So I have Robin back with me, Robin Weber from the National Aviary. The tropical rainforest room was built back in 1952, and it hasn't been renovated in 66 years. What's happening to it right now? We are so thrilled to be renovating the tropical rainforest. It is the original room. It was the original National Aviary, and many people remember it from field trips as a child. Um, we're actually replacing all 3,146 panes of glass, and we're so grateful to the support of Colcom Foundation and the Regional Asset District for helping us to make this project possible. We, um, in addition to replacing all the glass, we're adding additional features, including a 15-foot waterfall, which is going to be just gorgeous, custom perching for our birds that will bring them even closer to guests, and, um, um, of course, new bird species and tropical plant species. Mm -hmm. And the room is going to open in mid-July. Perfect for Night in the Tropics. Yes, it will be open for Night in the Tropics. That's one of the, the benefits of Night in the Tropics is you get to enjoy the full national aviary and get up close to birds as well. So it's a, it's a great night for sure, and we'll have our new tropical rainforest to celebrate. Absolutely. Now let's zoom in and get a closer look because this is some beautiful artwork. Who designed these pieces? This is artwork that was made from the glass. Um, we're recycling all of the glass from the tropical rainforest. So these pieces were custom designed by artist Megan Triggs of Atelier Glass Studio. And she is um, repurposing the glass and using every bit um, in these beautiful custom designed pieces. They are limited edition. Each one is handmade. And... Um, it takes three days to make one piece. That's incredible. They are gorgeous. I would imagine they would take much longer than three days. But you showed me the exhibit you have just around the bend. You also have really cool penguins pieces. I mean, you have so many different designs for people to choose from. Yeah, let's. we can talk a little bit about that. These are the nesting bowls. Um, we have a really large nesting bowl. Uh, this is the medium size one. And then there's a small one available. Um, this is our feather sculpture. This is uh, the one size, the one type of feather sculpture. We have two trivet designs. One is a sloth that you see here and a penguin. And then we have these beautiful, beautiful plates. Um, this one has a feather, as you can see, and we also have one that has a butterfly design to match our, our butterfly garden this summer. I think the penguin one really caught my eye, but they're all really gorgeous, and they are on sale now. Yes, correct. If you want to call and place your order, you will have to come and pick it up, but you can call now and order, and um, um, yeah, we're ready to go. Yeah. Have you had a lot of good feedback so far? I could imagine. Well, you know, it's really a unique chance to own a piece of National Aviary history and Pittsburgh history for that matter. This is a real milestone. It's a signature room of the National Aviary. So to have such a creative reuse of glass, which really in terms of conservation is what the National Aviary is about. Um, it's so unique and interesting to have something uh, one of a kind like this made for us and a great way to commemorate such a, an important moment in history. And I want to talk about the renovations too. You said it is bird friendly everything in the room? Yes, um, our glass is bird friendly glass. So we had a really unique circumstance in that we wanted to make sure that our birds inside weren't trying to um, that they could see the glass and wouldn't hit it. Um, but we also wanted to make sure the birds outside wouldn't come in. So it was a, a dual um, a, a dual need, whereas most of the times uh, people are just trying to prevent birds from outside from flying in. So um, we have bird-friendly glass in the room, and every single element of the room's renovation is designed with the birds in mind. Mm -hmm. So every detail um, keeps in mind what's best for them and healthiest for them to try and mimic their native tropical rainforest habitats. That's great, a wonderful feature. Now, speaking of the beautiful birds, we have two friendly faces behind us. Kathy, I want to know more about these guys and their names they're so cute we do we have mac our military macaw and we have red our scarlet macaw and the scarlet macaw is one of the faces of the tropical rainforest when you think of south america you tend to think of the scarlet macaw 
So beautiful. Now, the night in the tropics, my favorite event. I'm going to bring it up one more time because we're about to wrap up. That is coming up on July 21st. And for those who do attend that event, they get to experience all of this. Absolutely. Um, you get up close encounters with our birds, um, a chance to explore all of the exhibits. It's a 21 and over event, so as I mentioned, food and drinks included with your ticket price. And we bring in some really unique live entertainment. We're bringing back the Lava Game this year for live music. We have Tuka's Island Magic, who does an awesome fire performance and luau-style dancing. Um, it's a vintage beach party theme, so you're going to want to break out your your. Outfits. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and really um, lots of great en entertainment and a chance to just have a really good time and support the National Aviary. We very much appreciate everyone's um, help and support. I love it. Robin, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kathy. Everything here is so wonderful. You guys have to come down and check it out and definitely purchase your tickets. July 21st, that is when they are holding their signature gala, Night in the Tropics. And you could purchase those tickets right on their website. We also have a link if you want to visit kdka.com slash PTL. Heather, what do you think? I think we got to come down to the Night in the Tropics. I have my beach costume all played out in my head. I think that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I'll be your date if you'll have me. <laughs> oh, I would love to have you. Okay, just let's tell, put it in the calendar. <laughs> tell me what you're wearing. I'll wear my matching corsage. <laughs> Thanks, Selena. You can find all the fun things that are new at the Aviary online. We'll have a link posted for you at kdka.com/ptl. We'll